the Green Pile Principle Series today on Fixing the Money Thing. Friend, you need to lay behind where you come from. Like Joseph, we all have stories. You need to lay that behind. You need to set your sights forward because you have a great future ahead of you. Amen. So was Joseph's journey a fluke? Was it coincidence? I don't think so. I mean, obviously God led him, but he played a big role. And the principles that took place, we need to talk about. So it said that the Lord was with Joseph and he, again, prospered. What does it mean the Lord was with Joseph? Isn't God with everyone? That's a trick question. The answer is no, he's not. He loves everyone. He desires to be with everyone, but he's not with everyone. Ephesians chapter 2 Verse 11, Paul, writing to the Gentile church, Gentile being people raised outside of the nation of Israel, says, remember that formerly you who are Gentiles by birth, called uncircumcised by those who call themselves the circumcision, remember that at that time you were separate from Christ, excluded from citizenship in Israel, foreigners to the covenants of the promise, without hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who were once far away have been brought near by the blood of Christ. Verse 19, consequently, you are no longer foreigners and strangers, but fellow citizens with God's people, also members of his household. So when it says God was with Joseph, it's referring to the legality of Abraham's covenant. It made it legal for God to be with Joseph and be on his team, be, on his, be with him and to, to bless him. You, with, you got that. You figured that out. You got that? Everyone needs to understand that. The Lord was with Joseph because Joseph had covenant. There was a legal agreement with his great granddad, that lineage. God was with Joseph. Remember Genesis chapter 12. Remember Adam and Eve were bankrupt, essentially. Remember? Genesis chapter 12, it says Abraham was very wealthy with livestock, silver, and gold because of that covenant. He escaped that earth curse system. So Joseph was in that lineage as well. So God is with Joseph. Why? You have to define the term. Why does it say God was with Joseph? Because he had covenant, which is a legal agreement his great-granddad made. God could legally help him, and he prospered. Okay, so we got that down. Now here's a, a text I want to read out of Deuteronomy chapter 8. This is Moses writing this about the children of Israel as they're coming into the land. Uh, he's reviewing them coming out of Egypt into the land of promise. Verse number 6, the Lord your God is bringing you to a good land, a land with brooks, streams, and deep springs gushing out into the valleys and hills, a land with wheat, barley, vines, fig trees, pomegranates, olive oil, and honey, a land where bread will not be scarce and you will lack how much? Nothing. How much? Nothing. Nothing. A land where the rocks are iron and you can dig copper out of the hills. When you have eaten, I love this Part. When you have eaten and are satisfied, praise the Lord your God for the good land he's given you. Be careful that you do not forget the Lord your God, failing to observe his commands, laws, decrees. Verse 12 is awesome. Otherwise, when you eat and are satisfied, when you build fine houses and settle down, when your herds and flocks grow large, your silver and gold increase, and all you have is multiplied, stop everything. <laughs> the blessing of Abraham, the covenant, this is the result. This is you. Otherwise, when you eat and are satisfied, I like that, satisfied. Build fine houses, I like that. Settle down, there's peace. When your herds and flocks, your companies grow large, your silver, your wealth increases, and you've multiplied, that's the impact of what Joseph had. Then your heart will come, become proud. You'll forget the Lord your God who brought you up out of Egypt, the land of slavery. Verse 17. You may say to yourself, my power and the strength of my hands have produced this wealth for me. But remember the Lord your God, for it is he who has given you the ability to produce wealth and so confirms his covenant which he swore to your ancestors. To who? Abraham, as it is today. You know how I hear this scripture preached almost every time I hear someone mention the scripture? Is that God gives you the ability to pr produce wealth to preach his covenant. To preach, his, to preach the gospel. Any, anyone else ever heard that before? It's like they, I've always heard them preach it that way. That's not what it says. It says your ability to prosper confirms the covenant that you have with God. Now, obviously, we want to support the gospel. and We have an assignment. But it says that the blessing of the Lord, this, the, what Abraham had, Joseph had, has an impact on your finances. Because God's going to help you. I got a few amens out of that. 
So in that passage in Genesis 39 talking about Joseph, it said the blessing of the Lord. Remember it talked about Potiphar seeing the success he had and said, hey, this guy's good. And put all of his estate under his authority. Remember that? Just say yes. Thank you. (laughs) Under his authority. And then it says something pretty amazing. All of Potiphar's stuff was blessed because the blessing of the Lord came upon Potiphar's stuff because of Joseph. What is the blessing of the Lord? This is crucial. It's the promises that God gave Abraham. It's not a feeling. It's the promises. Hi, I'm Gary Cassie, and you will never fulfill your destiny until you fix your money thing. Visit GaryCassie.com and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more amazing weekly videos on fixing your money thing and thanks for watching.